thank you so much, Ms. Wanick, for joining us. Um, I, I did want to ask you a few questions related to uh, your recent hospital stay. Um, I understand that you were um, recently at the hospital. Um, can you tell us about why you were in the hospital? Sure. Uh, well, what happened, it was on April the 15th, and I was having a normal day, uh, had no reason to be alarmed. Uh, I came to work and uh, was sitting at my desk, and when I attempted to uh, get up, uh, I found that my leg would not, my left leg would not hold my weight. Mm -hmm. And so it, that kind of concerned me, and uh, I was feeling weakness on my left side. So um, my sister and I worked together, and so I asked her to help me to get onto the the ground because I was afraid I was going to fall down. Mm -hmm. And uh, so while I was restless and uncomfortable, and so um, my sister called my daughter and she came very quickly and helped me sit up. And while I was sitting up, I realized that I was slurring my words and uh, I was having this weakness and heaviness on my left side. And I noticed I could not, um, uh, move my fingers so uh i told my daughter i'm going to have to go to the hospital and she said let me call my husband he'll be here we'll take you to the hospital because we're not far from uh, mission trail and i said no i'm going to need to have an ambulance uh, because they will get me the emergency care i needed i recognized that these were signs of a stroke and i knew that uh, the weakness, the slurring of my words, the inability to move my fingers all on one side, that uh, this was an emergency situation and I needed to get help immediately. Called EMS, they came very quickly and took me to uh, Mission Trail. At Mission Trail, they were um, prepared for me and uh, immediately I had a CT scan and they started um, uh, administering um, uh, a blood thinner uh, intravenously mm -hmm. and uh, after about a half an hour of that uh, the neurologist that they were on uh, teleconferencing with said okay this isn't working you need to bring her to uh, St. Luke's mm -hmm. and so then I was transported to St. Luke's. They took me and was, was greeted immediately by the team. Mascatelli, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he um, um, introduced himself and uh, said, you're having a stroke. And um, I said, yeah, <laughs> they told me that from the CT scan. Mm -hmm. And he said, I would like to um, go in and remove the, the clot. And I said, well, that sounds like a good idea to me. And he said, mm -hmm. the way we would do it is I would go in through your femoral artery, go through your heart and into your brain and remove the uh, the clot. And I said, okay, that sounds good. And he said, and I'd like to do it while you were awake. Do you think you can handle being awake through the procedure? And I, you know, I said, well, I'm, I'm, my heart's not racing. I'm not feeling unusual anxiety. So yes, I think I can. And he said, okay. And the other thing I need to ask you is sometimes when this happens, uh, your heart will stop. Do you want us to resuscitate you if that were to happen? But this time I said, no, I think so. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and start me back up. <laughs> so <laughs> said, uh, okay, we'll get started. I mean, and they started immediately. Now it was probably 15, 20 minutes. And I really felt no pain, no discomfort, no, uh, no reason to be anxious at all. And he said, okay, you're, we're done. How do you feel? And immediately I could move my fingers. I was speaking without any kind of difficulty, without any slurred. I could pick up, I mean, it was as if nothing had ever happened. A please does not begin to uh, describe how I felt. I, I was so amazed. But one sharp procedure like that could be so life-changing. It was indeed a um, um, medicine miracle. Uh, I have just been in awe of the fact that I did not have to do any of that. And my recovery has been 
so complete and and so easy. And I I credit the doctors and the staff there at St. Luke's for all of that. And my um, advice and and urging to people is if you feel this tingling or any heaviness or any of these symptoms especially on one side of your body please do not wait please do not think it's going to go away please do not think it's going to get better if i just will wait it is a medical emergency you must get help immediately and and do not waste time to do that and um i believe that that if it didn't save my life it certainly kept me from being disabled and and having all kinds of recovery problems i had no warning that this was going to happen i felt fine that morning i had no no reason at all to believe that my my life was going to change that quickly and it's been just truly remarkable and i i i i can't tell you how uh important um their care has been to me and how much i appreciate it wow. and and how much i appreciate that that you would let me share my story with other people because it can happen at any time to anybody that's exactly the message that we just want to share with our audience is that stroke can happen to anybody at any time and i am so glad that you um, were aware of what those symptoms or signals were. Um, we use the acronym FAST, face, you know, F stands for face. If you see any kind of facial drooping arms, if your arms are limp and you're unable to move them, you said that you were unable to move your fingers and you felt that sensation where your arm is just dropping and your, your left side of your body wasn't working. Um, your speech can be slurred. That's what the S stands for, slurred speech. And then time, timing is just so critical and that's why the the EMS team was quick to 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 do what they did quickly and then you know assess you um, take you to one facility and then transport you to the next so timing is so critical uh, my recuperation time was was minimal I I really at the day after I left the hospital I I I felt fine I I really I have been able to go back to my normal routine very quickly and I again I owe it all to the care that I got from from the the, the team and the doctors and everyone uh, at St. Luke's uh, including uh, you know Mission Trail and what the the EMS people did for me I I got the best care and uh, the the best I mean, it, it all, I couldn't, no one could have orchestrated it better than they did. No one could have had a, a better experience or um, had a better result. And I'm, I'm so grateful for everyone for their, their care for me and, and their expertise. And I'm, I'm so glad that I live it at a time when you can have a stroke and it has no, no long lasting effects. Right now, it's a difficult time for a lot of people, but yet we have a lot to be grateful for and, and a lot to, it's still a wonderful time to be alive. Well, thank you so much for again talking with us this afternoon. Uh, I, we so appreciate it. Um, and for our audience, if you have any other questions or need more, more information about stroke, um, you can visit us at baptisthealthsystem.com or you can also check our social platforms on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn for more up-to-date information. Well, Ms. Winnick, thank you again. We hope that everything well, continues for you well. For, thank you for letting me share my story. I, if this can help even one person uh, in, in their own uh, experiences, um, I'm, I'm happy to be able to, to share this. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you, you for making that available to me. Well, thank you very much, and I hope that you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And you too.